Welcome back to another team building tip with Dan Talbot. We'll be right back with Dan. But first, we want to say thank you to our new partners, uh, We Coach Sports. Uh, go to WeCoachSports.org and see how they're helping promote women's athletics at the collegiate level. We also want to acknowledge our new partner, the Global Community of Women in High School Sports. Go to globalcommunityofwomeninsports.org and find out about their great organization. And we want to thank our regular sponsors. We want to thank Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. You know, they've got a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. If you're looking for a unique way to display your school's records for all sports, for all the events, or a great way to display your school's Athletic Hall of Fame, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com or send them an email to sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com to get started. Let them help you showcase your school's diverse history and your proudest moments. Go to vitalsignswalloffame.com or email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. We also want to say thanks to Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Go to hometownticketing.com. They will show you how to sell your tickets, how to scan the attendees, how to collect your revenue, and every step of the way, you're going to have a dedicated client success manager providing hands-on support. Hometown can also show you how to sell tickets for school dances or plays or even graduation. Go to hometownticketing.com and see how they can help you uh, with online tickets for athletics, theater, music, and any activity program. That's hometownticketing.com. We also want to say thanks to Gipper. Go to gipper.com and see how athletic directors are creating world-class content for their social media channels in seconds on any device and without needing any design experience. It's so easy, even I can do it. Go to gipper.com and you can start creating custom branded content for your school's social media channels. That's gipper.com. We also want to thank Huddle. Over 200,000 teams use Huddle to help the performance of their teams using video and analytics. As a football coach, I used Huddle for years. And as an athletic director, we were a Huddle school. And our coaches just love the online tools, the smart cameras, of course, the analytics, but there is so much more. Huddle is also built for every level of play, from club and youth teams all the way through high schools and colleges. If you want to find out more about what Huddle can do for you and your program and how your school can become a Huddle school, go to Huddle.com and talk to their professionals. Remember, at Huddle, we power sports. We also want to thank Final Forms, the industry leader in registration. Final Forms is more than that. Final Forms can help your stakeholders with things like mobile accessibility, and they have reminders for parents about policies, about physicals, and all the forms that come with athletics. Final Forms can also help your coaches with things like communication and attendance, and even help with their own certification management. And for athletic directors, Final Forms can help with eligibility, with rosters, and all the reports that come across your desk. You know, it's time that you spoke to a team that's walked in your shoes. To take the next steps, go to finalforms.com forward slash Jake. That's finalforms.com forward slash Jake. And get started with the Final Forms team. We also want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Athletic Surveys are a quick, easy, and affordable way for you to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your entire athletic program. If you've never used a survey to take the pulse of your parents or your student athletes, you're really missing out. Talk to the folks at athleticsurveys.com and let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. You can also email them at info at athleticsurveys.com to get started. And we want to thank the good folks at snapraise.com. Better fundraising makes better programs. And you can get away from the fundraising headaches of the past. Go to snapraise.com and see how their fundraising platform can work for you. 
our coaches use SnapRaise for years, and it was just fantastic. And if you go to SnapRaise.com, you can see how they have raised thousands and thousands of dollars for schools just like yours. Change your fundraising game plan and start a fundraiser that works for you. Go to SnapRaise.com for more information. We also want to say thanks to Sideline Interactive. Their indoor scoring tables and video boards not only raise money for your department, but they create the ultimate game day experience for your student athletes. Go to sidelineinteractive.com and schedule a live web demo and see their tables and boards in action. You can also email them at sales at sidelineinteractive.com and see exactly what their fantastic products can do for you. That's sales at sidelineinteractive.com. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Team Building Tips with Dan Talbot. This is episode number 17. Uh, for our new listeners, every week, Dan Talbot, he's a certified master athletic administrator, uh, very active in the state of Florida, as well as on the national scene. He shares some wisdom with us, and uh, let's just jump right into it. Dan, what do you have for us on episode number 17? Um you know, this is one of my pet peeves. I think, you know, I think it's just, you know, I think it comes from my military background with my father and kind of the, the way I was raised, but um, it, be better. It, it, and I think, you know, a lot of people, you know, whether it's coaching, athletic administration, or just anything outside of athletics, you know, I think people just need to strive to be better, whether it's reading a book, whether it's doing a book study, whether it's, it's getting involved. But I mean, at least every day, um, try to get better at something within your job. And especially as our job as athletic administrators is we affect the lives of student athletes every day in the decisions that we make. And that's powerful because we've all heard the phrase that uh, a coach impacts more lives in a year than a normal per person does in a lifetime. And, and when you think about that, I mean, how powerful is that? So we ultimately have a responsibility to get better every day in what we do, whether it's, you know, doing another event at a basketball game to make the, the athletic experience more enjoyable for student athletes, what it, it's making yourself better whether it's becoming more organized to free up more free time for you that we never get as athletic administrators. And I think it just bothers me when you have, you know, and I have them in my county. I mean, and I have athletic directors that, you know, in our, our county that just some don't want to get better. And, and, and I don't understand that. And it's hard for me to comprehend. And I think it, if you're an athletic director listening to this right now, you, you, you instantly thought, of some coaches that are on your staff that just don't want to get better. And you, you got to surround yourself with people that want to get better and want to grow and do more and, and just, you know, and that's my, you know, my, I mean, that's right on my computer screen, you know, get better, you know, how can I get better today? No matter what it is I'm doing, because we don't, I don't think people, when they take the athletic director role, because it, it's funny, because when you talk to people um, on why they became an athletic administrator, some are like, well, it got me out of the classroom. And I don't really, th you know, and Jake, you've heard that before. I mean, it's got me, I'm, I, you know, I don't have to teach anymore because I'm an athletic director. Uh, and, you know, those people are the ones that I think struggle because um they don't want to get better. I think they're satisfied where they're at. And, you know, as an athletic administrator, you should always be striving to do your best to get better because I think you have that responsibility to your student athletes to do so. And it, it and, um, and there's just nothing wrong with, with trying to be the best. I mean, you know, if our County makes a mistake, I take it personally. Uh, if we do something wrong, I take it personally. If I have an athletic director that is, not meeting the standard, um, I take it personal. And, and I try to figure out why, because there's always a way to reach someone. And maybe how I'm communicating or um, can I get better at my communication skills? Am I not 
doing enough to get better. I'm always thinking of ways to get better. I think it keeps you active. It keeps your mind right. And I just believe that you should always want to get better no matter what position you're in, because we all know those people that they could be so good, but, you know, and, you know, the one thing I want people to ever say about me is, is, you know, he was always thinking of ways to do things. He was always going after this, going after that, always wanting to get better, always learning, reading books. Um, you know, the book I'm reading right now, I'm super excited about it because I've heard of the, you know, I've heard of Frost, you know, the football coach out of Pacific Lutheran, you're from the West Coast, so you know him. And, you know, it, it was, you know, the title of the book, you got the book? <laughs> yes. You know, the big times where you're at, you know, and whether you're at a big school, a small school, or this, you know, you got, you know, I'm right next door to one of the biggest counties in the nation, Hillsborough County. And that's not stopping me, you know, I'm not wishing I was in Hillsborough County, or I'm not wishing I was in Osceola County that has six schools. You know, the big times where you're at, and, I, and, I, and it's such a powerful statement. Um, and if you spend more time thinking and wishing you were somewhere else, you know, you're going to miss the opportunity of where you're at. And, and part about making where you're at the big time is getting better every day. And so a uh, little shout out to his book, but I'm excited, to, you know, just starting to get into it, but I'm real excited to read it. Yeah, it's funny you should mention that again for uh if you're not watching this on YouTube, when dad mentioned, you know, Frosty Westering, uh, I just reached over to my bookshelf and pulled out his book, uh, Make the Big Time Where You Are. Uh, yeah. I got to hear him speak. Oh, gosh, a long time. It had to be back in the in the 90s at the uh, AFCA, uh, the National mm -hmm. Conference. And uh, uh, I haven't picked this up for a while, but um, the paper clip, as you can see here, where it's marked, uh, the road to success is always under construction. Uh, so, you know, that had meaning for me when I was reading it and it speaks to your point too. Um, another one of my favorite books, I don't know if you ever read it, uh, good to great, uh, yep. good is the enemy of great. And, you know, you've done this for a long time. You've seen coaches. We can just talk about coaches for now. Um, the successful ones almost all the time, it's not because they've got the greatest talent. It's because they are striving to get better. They're trying to make themselves better. They're trying to make their assistants better. And that in turn makes those kids better and, and, you know, helps them win all those games, but also uh, helps them do a better job in coaching those kids and creating those, those fathers, those husbands, or if they're coaching girls, you know, those moms and, uh, and, and wives. So uh, again, uh, you know, you and I, it sounds like I'm patting us both on the back, but uh, definitely pat you on the back. You know, uh, we're preaching to the choir here. It's getting, you know, the rest of the members of our profession, um, you know, on board with, you know, wanting to get better. That's it. Wanting to get better. Oh, I mean, I was just at, I was at one of my schools on Monday. I did a surprise visit. Usually I tell them when I'm coming, but I, um, I decided to wake up and, you know, because the thing about my county is, is, you know, we have, we have 17 public high schools. We have four charter schools and the charter schools do work with us. They, they have the autonomy to kind of do what they want, but I, they understand, you know, that they rely heavily on, on the public schools to survive. Um, so we do a lot of work together. And um, so usually, but our county is the size of Rhode Island. So I can be at one school on the Southeastern side. It's going to take me an hour and a half to uh, to get to one of my schools on the on the northwest side uh, so I did a surprise visit one of the schools on the east side and you know I went to the athletic director that you know once more we should be paid more we should be this and we should be that you know and I walk in the school and I see his principal who I have a great relationship with and uh, her and I visited she had something to do but she wanted to meet with me before I left and so I met with the athletic director and He's got a T-shirt on. He's untucked. He's got a pair of plaid shorts on, a pair of um, uh, hey dude shoes with socks on, and and I just sit there and it's like, come on, be better. You know, be better in the way you dress. I mean, you know, it's it's Friday night football in in Florida. It's ninety something degrees out. I don't want to be in slacks and dress shoes at a football game, but it's how important the profession is to me. 
And I, and I think how you dress and how you carry yourself speaks volumes, you know, as a profession, because how many people in your school right now think the athletic director, we just turn on the lights at 730 and it all magically comes together. Two teams just show up and, and a football game breaks out or a volleyball breaks out and we put the bleachers out in the gym and it, and it just happens. They don't understand the day to day, you know, all the stuff that we go to go through to make those events possible, to make it happen. You know, they think, you know, oh, you know, when you're an athletic director, you get to go to all the good, you know, all the best games. No, I'm worried about safety. I'm worried about crowd control. I'm worried about, you know, how long is the line for tickets? I'm worried about, are they going to run out of hot dogs at the concession stand? You know, what can we do? You know, um, all different things, you know, do you go with digital ticketing or not digital ticketing? I mean, does it make it easier Does it make it better? You know, yeah, you, you know, it's nice to be at the games, but there's so much more going on. You had to, un, you know, the parents today, ooh, man, they are getting worse and worse. It's, you know, I loved how we graduated from helicopter parents and gone straight to bulldozer parents. Uh, that kind of sums it up right now. But, you know, you're watching the crowd and you got unruly parents that, you know, could probably coach better than the coaches that you have on staff. Just ask them. But, you know, sometimes you got to go sit in the stands next to the parent to get them to calm down because they're ruining the experience for everyone else that's there showing good sportsmanship. And, um, you know, it's just a constant battle to, to be better. And, and I just, to every athletic administrator out there, make yourself better today. The smallest thing can make the biggest difference. And uh, I mentioned that very point. Uh, I did several uh, parent and coaches meetings uh, this summer up in North Carolina. And that was one of the first things I talked to the coaches about that image. Um, you know, when that parent sees you walk through the door, you know, how are you dressed? Are you a professional educator? Are you a leader? Or are you, you know, literally just somebody off the street? And, yeah. and that, you know, you, you can't overemphasize that enough. Yeah, we could go on and on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But to give you an idea, you know, I'm fortunate enough where, you know, Fred Hyde, you know, is our superintendent and I'm fortunate enough to work for him. You know, he wanted a five year study of every one of our schools, every one of our sports program. He wanted their win loss record, who the head coach was, who the AD was, and who the principal was. And he wanted to look at, we wanted, and he, we sat back and we want to look at the data of what's going on at these schools that's not going on at these schools because he's wanting to make them better. And the first thing he said is, you know, we got to get away from, oh, this coach is 0-10, 0-10, let's fire him. You know, what did the athletic director do to make him a better coach? Did they allow him to attend football clinics, go listen, you know, attend conferences? What's being done to make a coach better. And that's what I thoroughly enjoyed about that was, man, this guy's on the same page I am. Let's, you know, we have some good people, but let's make them better. Mm -hmm. You know, so let, just don't get rid of someone because they're not doing well. Why is they not doing well? And then obviously they don't want to get better. That's something different. But I think, you know, the idea that your superintendent of your school district is like, what are we doing to make our coaches better? What are we doing to make our athletic directors better. And I know if, if this is the way it is in the sports world in our district, I know it's the same way for our teachers, our deans, our assistant principals, and our principals. What are we doing as a district to make them better? Because really in theory, my role as the athletic administrator of Polk County is to give opportunities to make the people that have the most influence, which is our school-based personnel, the support to be better. No, absolutely. You, you're giving them the tools so that they mm -hmm. can go out and do their job. Wow. Great stuff. Uh, I, I think we got a book uh, just on this episode alone. Okay, Dan, for a new listener uh, that doesn't know how you roll, okay, what's the best way that they can get in touch with you? Pick your brain a little bit. Oh, it, it seems crazy, but shoot me a text or call me 863-661-0647, 863-661-0647. Six six one zero six four seven. That's my cell phone number. Um, it's glued to my hand. Um, I know when I got married and I got my groom some cake. My wife had a. It was a sheet cake and it was actually a, a, an iPhone because that thing's glued to my hand. But every athletic administrator knows that's just how it goes. So we're never off, and the phone can ring at any time. 
Yeah, absolutely. Well, we appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule and sharing with us uh, every week. So uh, mm -hmm. thanks again. Uh, we'll see you next week. Okay. Thank you. For our listeners, um, we do this every Thursday, Team Building Tips with Dan Talbot. He's a certified master athletic administrator, you know, one of the smartest guys I know. Uh, we appreciate you listening today. Remember, all of our episodes get uploaded to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. Come back next week for another team building tip just about every day for the Educational AD Podcast. We'll see you next time. Once again, we want to thank our sponsors and our partners, uh, the Global Community of Women in High School Sports. Go to globalcommunityofwomeninsports.org to find out more about what they can provide you. Also want to uh, acknowledge our partner, uh, We Coach. Go to wecoachsports.org. The Educational Lady Podcast uh, is one of their member benefits partners. You need to check out We Coach. Go to wecoachsports.org. We also want to thank our sponsors, uh, Final Forms, the industry leader in forms and registration. Go to finalforms.com forward slash Jake to find out more about how Final Forms can help you, your coaches, and your uh, stakeholders. That's finalforms.com forward slash Jake. We also want to say thank you to Snap Raise. If you're looking for a fundraising platform, you can stop. Go to snapraise.com. Our coaches use SnapRaise for years. It's easy. Um, you don't need to be involved as an AD, but you can see what's going on. And what's more important, it works. They've helped schools just like yours raise thousands and thousands of dollars. That's snapraise.com. We also want you to uh, check out Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. Go to athleticsurveys.com and see how their surveys for coaches, for kids, and for parents can help you out. If you've never used a survey to take the pulse of your parents or your student athletes, you're really missing out. Go to athleticsurveys.com and find out how they can help you in your program. We also want to say thanks to Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Go to hometownticketing.com and find out how they can help you start selling your tickets digitally along with your dedicated client service manager. That's hometownticketing.com. We also want to say thanks to Huddle. As a football coach, I used Huddle for years. As an athletic director, we were a Huddle school. Go to huddle.com and see how they can help you, your teams, your coaches, and your kids perform better using video and analytics. That's huddle.com. We also want to say thank you to Sideline Interactive. Their indoor scoring tables and video boards not only raise money for your department, but create the ultimate game day experience for your student athletes. Go to sidelineinteractive.com for more information. We also want to give a shout out to Gipper. Go to gipper.com and you can start creating world-class marketing content for your school's social media channels. It's so easy, even I can do it. Go to gipper.com and start creating world-class content. We also want to say thank you to Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. If you're looking for a unique way to display your school records or a unique way to display your school's Athletic Hall of Fame, you need to talk to the folks at Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. Their website is vitalsignswalloffame.com, or you can email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com to get started. Uh, they've got a mission to help you bring your school's legacy to life. That's vitalsignswalloffame.com. Thanks again for listening to Team Building Tips. We'll see you next week for another great tip and just about every day on the Educational AD Podcast.